Okay, let's get right into it. I know a lot of times these videos people like to put a lot of talkity talk fluff in there, but I'm going to get right into it. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description. You're going to go to this Gravit Designer. They have a pro version. We do not need the pro version. We only need the free version. You can see down here, the free version gives us exactly what we need. This PDF is pretty much all we need to build out this custom frame for Canva. Okay. Once you sign up for a free version, you're going to use your email or Facebook or Google, whatever you like. Um, you'll be presented with this interface. This is the free version. I'm not paying for anything. Um, in order to start this, you're going to have to put an image in here. The image does not matter. It could be any image. The image is just a placeholder and we will replace that inside of Canva with our custom frame. So just pick any image you like, a JPEG or PNG will work just fine. Um, I'm going to grab this uh, PNG right here. Um, then the next thing I'm going to do is you have to get a vectored path. Um, and if you don't know much about vectors, there's plenty of videos out there that explain what vectors are and how they work. And I'm not going to go into details of that. That's kind of outside this, the realm of this uh, tutorial because I'm just showing you how to build a custom frame. So what I have is I have a vectored star that I'm using that's built into this uh, Gravit editor. Um, you could use any vectored shape to do this. Um, just keep in mind, if you have uh, a compound path, I'm going to show you what that looks like. If you have something that has compound shape, look over here in the layers panel, you're going to have to change that to convert to path or else it will not work. So you see now it says path. So if you have a compound shape, make sure you turn it into a single path. That's the only way you're going to get this to work. Okay. So I have a single path, which is my star, and I have my image underneath. I'm going to select them both by just dragging a big square around the both of them. So they're both selected. And then I'm going to either right click or uh, control click on here to bring up the menu. And right here, make mask with shape. So now you'll see I have a star with my image inside of it. That's it. That's the whole process. All you need to do now is go to uh, ex I'm sorry, uh, yeah, export, PDF, and you can do 150 DPI. It's going to export, it's going to download to my, uh, to my computer. I'm going to jump over to Canva. In Canva, the way you import a PDF is you have to go create design, import file. And I'm going to import the star that I just made. Um, it's going to import. Uh, and some note that once you do this, you can then put this anywhere you want once it's uh, installed, once it's downloaded. And I'll show you what I mean by that. The frame can go into another project. Um, it's still uploading. My internet's not that great in this hotel. Um, come on. All right, so there we go. So I'm going to open that up, and then there you go. There's my star. And now I could take any image and just plop it in there. And there's my custom frame. Um, yes, I know they have stars built in Canva. This was just to show you that you can build your own. All right. Um, and then what you can do from here is you can just copy this. And then you can come over to any of your designs. And you can just paste it in. And the star is still a frame and still editable. Uh, even though I just dragged it in here. So you can see that I could still plop stuff in here as a frame. Um, oh, look, that gives you extra bits. We don't want that. Uh, so there you go. And that's it. That's how you build a custom frame. And I would search the internet for any kind of uh, vectored objects if you want to do some kind of you know, special vector shape. Uh, you can do that. And also, if you really want to get into it, you can start building them yourself with the pen tool. Uh, and build them out that way and this would this would work just the same uh, as I can show you here let me get this image out of the mask let me, I'm gonna undo a bunch so if I were to draw out my own little custom shape here with the pen tool whoops, and then uh, put this on top of here I could now make that the mask as well so you could see now that's my custom mask and I would do the same thing over. I would just download this as a PDF and upload it into Canva and then I would have this shape as my mask. Hope this helps you out, get, to you, uh, get you to help you build your own custom uh, masks for free, uh, custom frames for free for Canva.